I was uh, doing some maintenance the other day and it occurred to me that it might be a good idea to do a quick video about some of the chemicals we all use uh, routinely. Brake clean is one of them and you can kind of envision a situation where you've gone for a ride and you come back and there's something on your wheel that you want to remove and you're going to, you know, use brake clean to do that. Maybe spray some on the rag or straight on the wheel there. Uh, and there's your exhaust. It's still hot, right? And as we all know, uh, the temperatures there can be anywhere from 600 to 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit. So let's take a look at the safety data sheet. And uh, so you can see that the key ingredient is tetrachloroethylene. Uh, another name that they sometimes use is perchloroethylene, right? And so what's the issue? Well, when exposed to extreme heat or hot surfaces, such as a hot exhaust, uh, vapors may decompose to harmful or fatal corrosive gases such as hydrogen chloride and possibly phosgene. So I don't know if you've heard of phosgene, but I recommend that you do some a little bit of research, but I can tell you that it was used as a chemical weapon in World War I and World War II and killed a lot of people. So you don't want to be anywhere near this stuff. And uh, with when you have tetrachloroethylene, if you get it hot enough, and so we talk about exposed to extreme heat, well, it's extreme heat, um, anywhere over 300 Celsius or 600 degrees Fahrenheit is considered to be extreme heat, like your exhaust system there. So uh, that's, that's when tetrachloroethylene is going to oxidize and form phosgene. So please be careful when using this stuff. Electromotive cleaner, same thing. Let's take a look here. Contains tetrachloroethylene. Carburetor cleaners generally do not contain tetrachloroethylene. They're not chlorinated, and uh, interestingly enough, this product doesn't as well. Uh, it contains hexanes and some other stuff, but no tetrachloroethylene. Some folks like to spray carburetor cleaner uh, down the throat of their carb, which is fine, until you grab their own can by accident and you know spray brake clean down there, and then you might have a problem. So I just wanted to get this information out there. Hopefully a lot of people already know about this, but if you don't, I think this is something good to keep in mind.